Hi Sagittarius, it's Elle here to do your reading. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Thank you God for blessing Sag with a clear, concise message from you. What's going on for Sagittarius? All links are below. Sag, if you need to get in contact with me, do like, share, comment. Go ahead, click that like button right now. Thank you for doing so. Ten of Cups, you could be dealing with a Piscean. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles, very nice. And the Nine of Cups with the Six of Cups. It looks like good times. Let the good times roll. Looks like um, maybe somebody has come to you with a good idea. Maybe a loved one, um, a good business venture. It looks like it could be successful. This is reward for all your hard effort, uh, all your hard work being rewarded. Ten of Pentacles, the transference of wealth. This is marrying into money also. Yeah, this is marrying into money. This is opulence, luxury lifestyle, luxury cars, luxury altogether. The Ten of Pentacles is happy, like family life, long-term stability, financial stability. Um, you could be a banker, a financier. You could maybe back other businesses. You could be an investor of some sort. Um, the advice here is to stay home. If you don't like the family you were born into, go make your own. The Ten of Pentacles says happy, organized people build empire so make sure that you are happy and organized right the ten of pentacles says that uh you've done a lot to get to this place it looks like it's going to be it's long-term goal fulfillment achievement you have a good reputation and whatever it is you do uh, people can trust you or trust your judgment trust what you're bringing to the table the nine of cups here it says that again luxury fame acclaim recognition uh maybe good food good drink sex uh travel all all of the above everything have you getting what you think you want the six of cups it could be that you're dealing with someone younger dating someone younger you could feel like you want to have a baby or get married of some sort you want to just you know um simpler times i say i say that i love you uh there could be a little frustration maybe with someone um, you have children with because there's an inability for somebody to take responsibility for their their actions and there's lack of maturity, emotional maturity. Um, maybe somebody with someone you have children with, okay? Or you wanna go back to someone you have children with, you're thinking fondly of them. It is Mercury retrograde. This is somebody that you, you had in your past, could be a soulmate. This is somebody who you feel like, you know, there was positive times with this person. And you want to rekindle, reconnect, redo. Again, simpler times, you just want things to, be simple. You want harmony, peace, um, balance in a relationship here. Uh, let's see what else is going on here for Sagittarius. The, okay, the emperor could be a masculine energy. I'm thinking about marriage, long-term commitment, uh, longevity. of. Uh, could be a father. Thinking about being a father. Uh, what else? The three of wands. Yeah, thinking about the future, what the future holds. The three of wands also like commercial success or... That, that could be the three of cups, but this is like e-commerce, putting something out to the world and then uh, seeing how they respond. It looks like you can get a good response. This is also showing others the way. You could be like some type of mentor, expert in your field. It looks like people come to you for uh, questions or they, what questions and they know that you can answer um, your, your season or your season and what you do. Um, let's see what else. The hangman could be dealing with a Piscean person. Um, something about stringing someone along or hanging in there or having them wait on you or hanging their weight on i don't know um having someone sacrifice their time or their effort or this is what you've done let's see it could be a feminine energy waiting for her emperor um or someone sacrificed you or there's somebody is not taking action towards you the tower the knight of cups and the five of swords this is an established relationship but then there's also like a hold up or waiting then there's a blow up a blow out because someone realizes that something is not progressing it's like regression or it's going backwards someone's not it's not moving forward if you said we were moving in together, getting married and having a baby, we've only done the engagement. We haven't moved in together. We damn sure don't. We aren't pregnant. So it's like somebody is like 
now looking over things the question is someone's motivation like why did you even pop the question why did you do this when you really don't want to do it i heard cold feet or someone just thinking this over or not wanting to move it forward um the five of swords can sometimes talk about reversal okay can talk about interjection there could even be someone interjecting interceding in the relationship what else can we tell uh sagittarius here yeah, eight of swords, someone's stuck or not inability to take action or they've given up agency or I just don't, you know, I just can't do it. I just won't do it. I, I don't see a way out or I don't see that I can do it or, um, but I'm also not moving. Uh, this is no action. Yeah, three of swords, miscommunication, third party stirring up trouble. Third party could be anybody. Misrepresentation of what you really want. Uh, Six of Pentacles given just enough to keep somebody hanging in there. Promises being made. Page of Swords. Now someone is inquiring about, inquisitive about deadlines, dates. Someone wants to um, express knowledge about because about the delays. What is delaying you? What's holding you up? What is the um, advice for Sagittarius? What is the advice for Sagittarius? What is the advice? Uh, the lovers, there's something or someone who has come in between the relationship. Okay. Someone's no longer choosing the soulmate connection or they having a hard time choosing the connection. They having a hard time, you know, uh, yet choosing night of, night of swords. Yeah. Some mind is foggy. They're thinking about a lot of different things. Um, they're not thinking clearly also with the lovers and the night of swords. This is somebody's actions being governed by an outside party. So maybe even listening to a friend or a family member. This is the advice for you, or this is what you need to do. This is what's happening around you. The high priestess. So it's like, yeah, it's like somebody's whispering in someone's ear and telling them about you or about what not to do. The eight of pentacles about maybe not marrying or be prudent. Look this over. Take your time with it. Stop. Think about it. Think about it over and over again. Yeah, Queen of Swords. There's somebody here who is putting a stop, a halt to something. Uh, yeah, a pause to something. And that's, they're the reason for the pause, the breakup, or just the kind of um, the temporary stagnancy. It says the relationship is like a, at a, a real fragile point. Sag came out. It could be with you about maybe you not taking action, or it's the other way around, cross watcher. Let's see it. What is going on? Yeah, Aquarius. Uh, you could be with an Aquarius. You got some feelings about an Aquarius. You got your outlook on things. It's not clear. It's like you don't know what the future is going to be. Or you don't know how what is whole. You, Uranus definitely dealing with an Aquarius revolution. It's like you want to break out. You could have Aquarius in your chart. It's like you can't stay still. Or you don't want to make this commitment because you're just unsure. You, you don't want to commit to this because... It's not something that you want for a long time yet. Yeah, in the seventh, seventh house, relationships, relating, marriage, opposition. So someone is running opposition, interference. Um, you're not sure if it's balanced, if it's just. You're not sure if there it will be a communion here, if you guys will get along. And maybe that's why you're putting a halt, a stop to something. Yeah, and you're also concerned about your assets, the second house, your earned income, your priorities, your valuables. Uh, you're, you're concerned about, uh, or someone is concerned about, you know, uh, their money. Like, I, I don't want to be married or tied to someone who I feel like there will be divorce or separation. Uh, I don't feel like it's going to be for the long haul. Uh, and I also feel pressured at this time. Someone's listening to another party, though. Could be a dark male, twin flame type of situation. Uh, let's see, gifts. Someone's giving gifts, hoping that they some, the other person doesn't ask about the engagement, the ring. Someone could be listening to someone from their past life, a mature woman, a mother, um, someone that they have children with. Someone could feel like their true love is someone that they have children with, someone who's distant from them. There's gossip about this male here. Or this male has been all talk, no action, no movement. 
And this person is just okay with dating for the long haul and like friends with benefits. This is what I have for you, Sag. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website and book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also, um, what can you do? You can go over to the website. Oh yeah, the 10 minute readings are on sale. The 10 minute recorded reading and phone reading are on sale. I'll link it in the top of the, I'll pin it at the top of the comment section. It's on sale for $50, take advantage. I'm here every Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time doing a collective reading and answering your questions. Um, if you feel like you took something from the reading, you can always get back. You can uh, buy me a coffee. The link is below in the description box. If you're a business-minded individual and you wanna connect with other like-minded uh, person, you can go ahead and sign up for the KTMG, Keep the Momentum Going, a monthly conference call where you'll get um, valuable practical and spiritual advice um, about how to start, maintain, or grow your business. You'll get spell work. You'll also get mantras. You'll get meditation. You also get practical advice. You'll also get some business contacts, some resources that you can use. This is the time. This is the time. This is the age of Aquarius, the great awakening. Awaken to yourself and what it is you really want to do. Come out of your slumber. All right. And shout out to New York, LA, Chicago, Dallas, London, Florida, Minneapolis, New Orleans, Houston, Atlanta, and Philadelphia. I have high viewership there. So I want to say hi, guys. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care. We were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality.